So there's no doubt that salt can definitely add a gritty texture to the hair, but can it actually enhance your curly texture? Can it make it, dare I say, curlier? So I put several different wave sprays to the test on three beautiful models to see if there will be a difference. What's good everybody, it's your main curl Mel, one of two types of textured hair people. There are only two and no in between. Those whose hair looks best leaving the sea, and those whose hair is left so tragically crispy. The question is, which one are you? If you said person B, well you're just like me. But if you said you're person A, then I'm willing to bet that your hair's got the wave. And if you have ever wondered what causes your hair to be thriving and become so curly, then this is the video for you. We're about to get into the nitty gritty, which will get scientific to explain the phenomenon and the full effects of salt and the sea on hair, that is curly, wavy, coily. I'm using curly as an umbrella term. All textures are welcome to learn here, especially if you're looking to maintain that beachy wave beyond the summertime. I have got a lot to show you, so without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been so long since we just sat down and done a video like this, really learning about the care behind the hair and the hair that's up in there, that not in my way, has been described to be absolutely garbage and trash after leaving the sea. This right here is a list of some of the topics and questions that we are going to be covering today. All right, let's cover the who, what, when, where, why. What is having this effect on the hair when you are by the sea especially? Is there really something in the water? Well, you see, we're about to get scientific with Melly. The sea, water, is composed of many different things. Now, when it comes to what's in your hair products, the most commonly used salt ingredient is magnesium sulfate, more commonly known as Epsom salt. Now, salt does not evaporate from the sea or you and me. It leaves behind this salty, crystally, and gritty feeling. And that salt leaves a coating over the hair, which can really increase the friction between the fibers, giving a lot of texture to the hair. It's a physical change that you can feel. But beyond that, it also has effects on the bonds of the hair. At a deeper level, it affects how the hair holds on to moisture. So there's no doubt that salt can definitely add a gritty texture to the hair, but can it actually enhance your curly texture? Can it make it, dare I say, even more curlier? All right, this is a loaded question. As we may know, hair is made up of a protein called keratin. This protein naturally welcomes water into its structure, which helps to give pliability as well as elasticity to the hair. Now, the shape and structure of the strands is held together by four bonds. The weakest bond, the hydrogen bonds, is the one that is responsible for the end shape of your hairstyle. Bear with me here. These bonds are broken by heat and water. In the absence of water, the hydrogen bonds in your hair reform. And that's how you can set your hair in different shapes. Okay, now back to the magnesium sulfate. Epsom salts are extremely hydrophilic. They love water. Now what happens when it is applied topically over your wet hair is it can draw out that moisture. And as the salts pull out moisture from the hair, it allows for the formation of more hydrogen bonds. And this is what creates the curl activating properties of the magnesium sulfate. Now that is something I'd like to see for my shelf. Puns intended every time, okay? So I put several different wave sprays, some with magnesium sulfate and some without, to the test on three beautiful models, Manny, Quinn, and Purple Patty, to see if there will be a difference. But wait, there's an important thing to know when it comes to using magnesium sulfate. As these salts attract and bind to water molecules in the hair, they can excessively draw out a lot of that moisture, leaving the hair feeling extremely dehydrated, which is how it works, but is also the cause of leaving the hair feeling really excessively dry. Now that is an excellent point. Now in any case, salt or nay, it is always recommended to use a leave-in conditioner to prep the hair. There's something that's gonna give protection to your hair. Hydration, tame frizz, add slip. We always prep to protect. Now because I really didn't want to disrupt but more enhance the natural texture of the Mandy Quinn's, the prep that you missed included me detangling the hair when they had conditioner in. I used the twist whether or not conditioner. And I kind of created the curl clumps while the hair was really, really wet. 
and then gently rinse out the hair. So the wet hair that you're seeing is completely rinsed out of conditioner, but it has not been brushed out since. Then I gently sprayed on the leave-in conditioner, not disrupting any of those curl clumps. One of my favorite leave-in conditioners that I love because it's a spray and it's very versatile for everybody is the Nutriplenish leave-in conditioner, which I used on Purple Patty and Quinn. This one helps with detangling, adds heat and UV protection, which is definitely preferred before applying my variety of wave sprays. Some of these are new to me and some of them I have long time been using like the AG Curl Trigger. I often use this on humans as well. And they actually just rebranded all of their packaging to be more sustainable and also get a whole new look. So be advised, this is what the products now look like. It has a really nice almost serum texture. It's got proteins to help strengthen the hair. And the second ingredient is magnesium sulfate. I sprayed thoroughly scrunched and then repeated this process with several other wave sprays and then I left them to air dry. Now, will this give the same effect as being by the beach? Stay tuned to find out, except disclaimer, not exactly. Even if you do not wet your hair in the ocean, like me, I choose not to live life that risky, just being by the sea adds saltiness to your hair. It's in the air. Carried by the wind from the ocean is SSA, AKA, Sea salt aerosols is what they call them. It's just little particles of salt and other debris from the sea floating around in the air. So even if you don't get your hair wet, you might still notice some of the salty effects in your hair. Paired with the effects of the UV rays from the sun, as well as the humidity, gives the perfect storm for hair that is frizzy or gritty or has, again, that beachy texture. And the results are in. How'd you get so tall? When I compared the hairs, it appears that the waves with the salt sprays had more grit, hold, and that peasy, beachy texture compared to the salt-free products that offered more softness. The salty side was indeed a little bit more crunchy, a little bit more crispy. And some people consider that crunch to be hold. Hold, when we're talking about hold from products, strong hold, soft hold is often associated with that crunch. But in my eyes and the eyes of many, hold determines how long lasting it's going to be. So to finish off these wavy routines, as we finish off basically every routine, it is highly advised, you're gonna finish with an oil slash serum to help protect the hair's current moisture contents and prevent it from losing slash absorbing too much more moisture. If the waves completely fall flat after adding an oil or serum to the hair, then well, the hold just isn't there. And as we can see, the waves without salt didn't hold up as well. So what does this mean? Can we conclude that salt is superior for texture enhancing and most importantly, should it be a staple in your hair care routine? Yes! Well, not so fast, because we all know the saying, too much of a good thing. And this is the thing, overly dehydrated hair is not going to have good elasticity, it's going to feel really brittle, and can be prone to more breakage. So whether you live by the ocean and frequently wet your hair in the sea, or you are continuously using products that contain magnesium sulfates in the ingredient list, without exercising all your due diligence, then you can negatively impact your hair. Specifically, and especially, if your hair is chemically treated, color treated, bleached, high porosity. These hairs are already prone to losing excessive moisture and at risk for excessive dryness. So in that case, I would recommend to use a salt free spray. My favorite of the ones that I tried and compared was the one from Whey, but there is another way. Another alternative is to complete your regular hair routine, giving your hair all the moisture and hydration it needs, use an oil serum, and then go in and use a texturizing finishing spray. These are a couple good options for finishing sprays that are also salt free and just another great way to add texture and hold at the end of your routine. But I would throw these back, but that would be dangerous. For added hydration, hold, shape, longevity, shine, anything to make your hair look even more divine is to pair your wave spray with a foam. This is the Verb Curl Foaming Gel that I co-created. It's a great product that you can use to create curl clumps out of the shower. It adds a lot of slip to the hair, so it's great when you're brush styling and creating your ribbony curls. It really helps to add that definition, curl retention, and shine without the crunch, because crunch doesn't always equate to hold. It adds a little bit of crunch until you scrunch, but it really helps with curl retention, as well as adding shine, since salt sprays can mattify the hair. 
If you love a good glossy healthy finish then you're gonna love this. But more importantly it's essential to keep up with your reset routine. Now that is your wash day that includes a pre-shampoo oil treatment especially on your ends that are really really dry but then a clarifying shampoo which should regularly be used followed by a deep conditioner before starting this routine all over again. That way you can use whatever wave spray, salt or not, while keeping your hair healthy. Now I know that was probably a lot to absorb. Textured hair can work in a lot of mysterious ways. It's like when it's dry, it'll be frizzy and frizz is a curl waiting to happen. It just needs moisture, but too much moisture will prevent the hair from curling as much as it possibly could. Therefore, dehydrated hair will curl a little bit better, but then dehydrated hair might have more frizz, which again is a curl waiting to happen. And it's a vicious cycle. In my eyes, the perfect way to balance your routine is to always use a leave-in conditioner, as I mentioned, again, doing that reset routine as well, and as an alternative to a wave spray that isn't that moisturizing, instead use a curl cream that has magnesium sulfate. That way it's going to be perfectly balanced with the right amount of oils that your hair needs while also distributing a little bit of salties for the curl enhancing. It'll be balanced with the best of both worlds. These are both from AG. Actually, this is the new packaging. You guys have seen me use the Curl Fresh Definer as well as the AG Recoil Curl Cream so many times on this channel. If you want to see how that works in my hair, a cream with magnesium sulfate that's not drying. I will be sure to link routines that you can see me using these in the description box below. And that's pretty much all we have for you right now. I hope that you learned something new today and that you stay tuned by subscribing, especially if you're always looking to learn more about how to care for your hair from a hair care professional. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, comment below what else you would like to see. And thank you so much for watching us, me, and Scientific Melly out. Thank you so much for watching. Resources will be linked in the description box below, as well as all of the products that I would recommend that contain salts and are also salt free, but still curl enhancing. Check out the description box to learn more. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Until next week, peace. Actually, we post YouTube shorts now, so I'll see you in a couple days. Okay, bye. Are you ready, kids? We're gonna kill this. We're in the basement today because it's about 3 a.m. and everybody's sleeping. I wish I was kidding. This bitch is gonna curl up, but that's okay because we have curly hair. And so if you wanna be curly, you can be curly. We embrace all the texture, like we mentioned. I'm gonna look out for centipedes. Okay, I'm scared. Well, you see? No, I, don't, I can't see. I can't see any. One more game. Where did you come from? Cotton eye, no, no. Where was I? Okay. E C breezy. C breeze? E C breezy, beautiful curly girl. I'm gonna lose all of us. The card is gonna die. We did. We did it. We did it. Hooray! Now I can go to bed. Yay!